But I'm going to use this to try to explain to you what I've done now. Take you around the back. You can see I have a mess back here. But they're coming out of the window for right now. Going underneath the cabin because they're so short. Going under the cabin. Running along there. Coming over here. To the panels and what I've done the panels I got four panels what I have is two series and one parallel what that means is each panel is 37 volts eight and a quarter amps so when I run them in series the volts double the amps stay the same so I connected this positive and this negative, or this positive and that negative. Anyway, connected the positive and the negative of two panels. That gave me one panel, double the volts of 75 volts. Amps stay the same, eight and a quarter amps. I did the same thing with those two panels. So that's uh, 75 volts eight and a quarter amps then I connected that positive with this positive with this branch connector right here and then ran it made a connection made an MC4 connection for my home run going to the cabin and connected these together did the same with the negative end now having the two 75 volt eight and a quarter amp hours or eight and a quarter amps panels when i connected them in parallel the volts stay the same the amps double so what's going through this wire here and going to my charge controller is the 75 volts and 16 and a half amps because you double the amps every eight and a quarter each series. So 16 and a half amps. And I wired them into a 20 amp breaker going into the charge controller. All right, you're going to have to forgive me. It's kind of dark in here. Uh, but I'm going to try to record anyway. Uh, I have an escape route in case this doesn't work. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the breaker for the battery bank. And see what my charge controller does. Okay, it came on. Let it get set up. Oh, it's hard to see that. Why does it say, oh, there we go. So it has some juice in the battery. So now, I'm going to flip the 20 amp breaker on. And hopefully that green light comes on that is getting some kind of a charge because the batteries are at 26 volt right now so let's see what happens when I flip this up getting a flashing green they're connected look at that nothing tripped Wow well dang it wish I could what do we got going on here? I can't hardly read it. Twenty-six volts on the battery. No load. PV. Fifty-eight volts. Two point one amps. Zero watts. I'm not surprised. There's no uh, uh, there's no sunlight on them right now. It's all shaded, but it's working because that green light is supposed is supposed to be flashing to let you know it's charging. So. 
things are working. I have no faults. And that's what I wanted. Holy crap. Whew. I have had a hell of a day today. Let me tell you. Now, I'm not going to put a load on these, this battery bank yet. Uh, I want them to get fully charged. Tomorrow's supposed to be a good sunny day. Uh, let me show you what I got here. I tried to beat it, but you can see they're totally in the shade. Uh, I'm surprised it's getting two, two amps. Uh, or however many volts. It, yeah, the volts, it was getting 58 volts. Uh, but I'm going to wait a while, look at it again, and see if it's settled down and done its thing yet. But my green light is flashing. And that's what I needed to see. Holy crap. Because I first ran all of my 6 gauge wire. I've got 6 AWG for when I hook up all the panels. Now there has been a change of plan because of the panels. 10 is a nice round number. Except in solar panels. <laughs> 3 is the number you want. Uh... So what I'm going to wind up doing when I put the other six panels up, I'm going to change these four out and run them three in series. I'm going to have three series and then parallel, three parallels. That's why I need the six AWG wire to make the run. I barely had enough eight AWG wire to test this thing out. And you can see I had to make little extensions to run over but oh, I'm just happy happy as I can be let's see what this shows now let's see if we can read it zero amps now <laughs> oh that's a load my PV 59 volts 2.2 amps I don't know why it's not showing kilowatts. Uh, I'll have to find that out. Something I got to set up probably. But my battery is at 25.3. Uh, there's the temperatures. So it was at 25.1 when I turned it on. So it's working. 61 volts, 1 1.9 amps. I got to figure out the watts. Why it's not showing me the watts. Sweet. I'm just so happy it's working. And, uh, you got to see it go live. Man, I'm sweating so bad. It, uh, rained like hell yesterday. Muggy today, but I think uh, the cold front finally came through. And it's supposed to be down like 55 tonight. Uh, I'm not going to stay here tonight. Alex is in town. You guys saw my video of Alex's new truck. And, uh, you know, we're going to hang out with him instead of me staying out here. But I'll probably come out tomorrow. Well, I'm definitely going to have to come out tomorrow and test, you know, check it, see where everything is. Um, and go from that. Hopefully it'll... When I come in tomorrow, it'll be a solid green. But she's working, boys. Holy crap. Man. I gotta read the instructions and find out how to see how many watts are coming in. Maybe no watts are coming in. Maybe that's it. I don't know. No kilowatt hours because there is no sun at all. So I'll have to watch it tomorrow. I'll be out here when they're in full sun and uh, be able to try it out. But even in the shade, getting two amps, I'm happy. Uh, 50, 59 and 61 volts, I'm happy with that. Whew. Holy crap. But when the sun's out, I'll be able to test it. So y'all see, you got to see it go live. Oh, I can't stop looking at that green light flashing. It's been so long, it seems like. 
Uh, heck with it, I'm going to turn the battery on, or the inverter on, see what happens. Let me send some juice up here. There's my meter, what's it say? 25.32 volts. Sweet. Yeah, baby. Oh, gotta turn the light on. But yeah, she's working. I have no load on it. I'm gonna turn the inverter on and see how much of a load it draws. The inverter says 25.6. Huh. These both say 25.3. But hell, the inverter is drawing 21 watts. 0.8 amps. 25.3. Uh, no load. 59 volts, 1.7 amps, 25.3, 25.3, and 25.6. Who do you believe? <laughs> I say we go with 25.3. All right. I can turn the batteries off. Look at that. Nothing blew up. Nothing caught fire yet. Nothing is smoking. You can see I ran the wires out the window. Uh, I better stick something in there and close it so I can keep the critters out tonight. Hang on a second. So, yeah. It's working. I don't have to call the fire department. And I didn't have to use the fire extinguisher. So, I do have to come out here and mow. There's no doubt about that. But you can see, when I ran it in parallel, I'm not killed. There's very little sun hitting any of these panels. And hopefully, well, that tree is never going to come down. Uh, I have no idea what time it is. It's probably 6 or 7 o'clock. Uh my next set of panels is going to be put in front of that and at a different angle. Um, but yeah, that, that little bit, I mean, it's sending a charge to uh, my batteries. That's all that matters. But that's the final step in hooking up a solar system. And you notice, and this is very important, I turned the batteries on first. I connected them first. Let that charge controller boot up with those batteries. Then I connected the solar panels to it. So uh, you always had to hook up the batteries first. Because that would have been, you know, 60 volts of electricity going to that charge controller. And the charge controller not knowing what to do with it. So that's why it's important to do it that way. And I just peeked in. I can see a green flashing light still. Uh, so, I hope you're as excited as I am. Tomorrow, hopefully, when I come out, tomorrow afternoon, my batteries are going to be fully charged. Then, I will plug in the refrigerator. And we'll see if that how much that refrigerator draws. It's 0.8 amps is what it draws, supposedly, um, which is not very much. With th all six batteries fully charged, I should be able to get have no problem running that refrigerator 24-7. But I'm going to leave a mess. I'm going to go home, take me a shower. I'm sweating, so I didn't turn the uh, generator on. I didn't bring my little generator. So I had no air conditioning, no fan, and inside this cabin it was hot when I was sitting down there because I had hooked up the six gauge wire 
to the circuit breaker and the negative. Everything was hooked up in here with 6-gauge wire. When I got out there to hook, you know, make my MC4 connections with the 6-gauge wire, I, my, I can't do 6-gauge wire. I have to run a combiner box for the 6-gauge. So I had to pull all of that out, pray that I had enough 8-gauge wire left for my other project, and with the help of a couple of extensions, I had enough. Uh, so we're good. Um, I can do my test. I can see how it's going to work. And I can start building my battery room outside. Again, the batteries are not staying in the cabin. This is just for me to test it all and see if it's even worth me doing all of this. And so far, everything I've tested is coming out good. Um, we'll, uh... We'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to let them all charge. I'll see where we are tomorrow afternoon. But, uh, again, I hope you all like this. I hope uh, you share it, comment on it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to me so you can keep seeing these adventures. And uh, within a week or two, I'll be living out here. That's why i got to get all this going. Uh, I've got the, you know, except for running my 60 gauge and building the other. A thousand watts is going to do me fine for a while. It's going to run that, that refrigerator without a problem. I'm in no hurry to put the other six panels up for right now. Um, next I'm going to be working on getting gutters and, uh, my rain catchment going. So that'll be... You know, the next couple of weeks getting all that stuff together. I want to buy a pure sine wave inverter. I looked at them on Amazon. The same one I have except pure sign is like $389. Well, I found one on eBay for $314. I ordered it. Guess what? I got scammed. So now, I didn't have $333, you know, to spare. I was going to get this sine wave and then sell this modified sine wave inverter. But now I'm trying to fight with this guy. He, I mean, I got the inverter. It's the exact same one I have. It's a modified sine wave. It's not the pure sine wave. So... You know, that just ties up 350 bucks. So, you know, that would be my gutters. Uh, you know, whatever. So, you know, that's how it goes, I guess. I've been on eBay, or, yeah, I've been on eBay. I've been a seller on eBay since 1999. I know how it works. I screwed up. You know, it's my fault I let the guy do it to me. But that's for another video for another time. Uh... You know, I'm not going to get to move out here as quick as I wanted to because I'm going to have to stay working to make up money. <laughs> you know, it's, what are you going to do? Uh, it's no biggie, you know. But I'm ready to come out here. I'm ready to move out here and uh, live the life off the grid and get into that. Uh, but anyway, I'm rambling now. This is Joe out here at St. Bernard Acres, you know. We're still flashing green in there, which means life is still good. I'm going to lock everything up, head to the house. I'm out.